tonight's spectacular final to find the Gladiators' supreme champion, the punishing, bruising Powerball. The soaring, spectacular swing shot, the grueling gauntlet, and the diabolical duel. And now, for the very last time from the National Indoor Arena in Birmingham, please welcome Orika Johnson and John Fatanou. of all finals. Tonight's special contenders are all past champions of gladiators, but they're here tonight to battle it out for the title of Supreme Gladiator Champion. And it's not just about the title, because tonight, two people are gonna walk away with prizes of 8,000 pounds. <laughs> so it's money and pride tonight, and we're going out with a bang because tonight's Female contenders are Jane Smith and Andrea Warren. last year. I bet you didn't think you'd be back so soon, did you? I uh, never thought I was going to be back at all. It's been great to be asked back. I've enjoyed every minute and to have the opportunity to do it again has been fantastic. We don't want to tempt fate by talking about the prize money, but it is £8,000, which is a, you know, a lot of money. Yeah, it is. That's what's at stake. That's what we've all come here to compete for. You know, at the end of the day, the lucky lady who's going to walk away with £8,000 is fantastic. Hopefully it's going to be me. You never know. Fingers crossed. Well, we'll keep our fingers crossed, and so will that bunch <laughs> over there. Let's hear it for Jane Smith. Well, Andrea, I've got to ask you, how hard was the last show we saw you on? Oh, the show against Audrey was the hardest show I've ever done in seven shows of Gladiators. <laughs> So how well do you think you're going to do tonight? Well, it's going to be just as tough as um, the other show, I think, but I could try my hardest and hopefully, same as Jane, I hope I can come out on top. Well, I've got news for you, it's going to be even harder tonight. Andrea, off you go, get yourself ready! Andrea Warry! Well, we've met the girls, now it's time to meet our male champions. Tonight they are Mark Everett. And David Walter! I just saw the most incredible veins on your legs. You, you're just too fit. <laughs> yeah, I've done a lot of training for this. Um, I've been intensively training for about five weeks and getting myself ready. Um, Semi-final, that went really well. Um, hard show, um, and it went in my favour. I mean, you, you always sound so relaxed, that's what always, and you're always smiling and really happy, and, and, and you don't seem psyched up, you know, like some people get psyched up. Oh, I think I'm one of these people that can bottle it up well. I feel quite nervous about tonight, because there's quite a lot at stake. I'm just going to do my best and try and enjoy it as well. And what about the little monkey sitting over there? What about Harlem? How, how was he enjoying it last time? Well, I think he cried most of the way through because he wanted his dad. Um, but hopefully he's going to enjoy it a bit more tonight. Yay! Well, and we hope that you enjoy yourself because this is the last show of Gladiators and, it, and there's a lot of money at stake as well. Have you given that any thought at all? I don't know, really. Um, I think I'm going to focus on just trying to win it first and then I'll get home tonight and just think... We right, can then decide what we do what with the money. I do with it, yes. <laughs> all right, let's hear it for Mark Everett. Now, David, just remind us again, what do you do for a living? Um, for a living, I work for Anne Badley as a sports master. And how do you think you're going to do tonight? Um, well, like everyone else that's come up here, I'm going to do my best, give it 100%. Now, I noticed that you've brought an amazing amount of supporters, loads of them. Is there any spe anyone special in the audience you want to say hello to? Uh, yeah, my girlfriend, Kerry Ann's in the audience. So you're not only doing it for yourself, you're doing it for her as well. Uh, and there's one other special person, hopefully he's going to be cheering me on, and that's Piers. Piers, of course, you took his place because he got injured earlier on. Yeah, I'm going to be out there with Piers in my heart as well as myself, so hopefully the both of us are going to do our best there. Well, let's see how you're going to get him. Off you go, David Walter! Well, we've met our contenders, so let the final begin. Waiting to score with the blue ball. Their mission to make the contenders' lives a nightmare. Over to John Anderson. Contenders, ready! Gladiators, ready! Three, two, one! It's 
a marauding minute's worth of mayhem. Jane into the pond and onto the scoreboard. Opens her account with two, no such start for Andrea. Jane looking for two more. Just rims the basket. Jane could well have both tagged, but Andrea yet to get the measure of Rio. Andrea again. Oh, she's a bit wound, a bit wee. Ducking and diving. Oh, what great speed. Shakes down Rio, takes her time, dunks a three-point ball in the centre slammer. Reloads. Jane back two. Vogue wraps her up, but Jane's on song. The lead changing hands in seconds. Rio flying tackle at the very edge of the apron. 20 seconds remaining. Jane's got the taste, drops home another two. Andrea trying to slip Rio, the double clutch shuffle, and succeeds. A clean pair of heels and a good pair of points. And charged right off the pitch by Rio. That'll cost her time. Jane, massive pile up on the pod. The clock's ticking down, and it looks like we're all done here. Andrea did so well to steal five from Rio. But Jane rarely gave Vogue with the chance to put the brakes on. Well, Jane, she let you get away a couple of times, but it wasn't often. No, uh, I landed on one of the baskets once, which wasn't very nice, but, uh, again, it's not one of my favourite games. It's very tough. It's a long, long minute that goes on and on and on, but I was pleased with that. All right, and, Andrea, I don't know what you do when you're faced with Rio like that. When you, she's just so massive. She's huge. I got a nasty little shove at the back when I had no ball in my hand, which is a bit tough, but I really don't like this game made, the same as Jane. Well, it's over now, <laughs> and hopefully we're bringing you a little bit of good news. John Anderson, could you tell us what the scores are? Well, that was a great game. Andrea scored five points. And Jane, six points. Well done, that's it for Jane and Andrea. Well Here are the confirmed scores, six to five, still a long way to go. We move into the men's event now, and scoring with the blue balls, it's Dave. Scoring with the red balls, it's Mark. And tonight, they're facing Saracen and Ryan. Yes, the mighty Saracen and the meaty Rhino, two of the biggest battle stars in the Gladiators' galaxy. Contenders ready! Gladiators ready! Three, two, one! Mark, meet Rhino. The no-nonsense rhino muscles in on Mark's party like a giant gatecrasher. Both these boys very fast, given the chance. Oh, Dave with the shimmy, and it's not shammy, two points. Mark hauled and mauled, but still slips home the equaliser. Dave again, looking to clean up. Swept away from the points by Saracen. Mark floored, with his vest flapping behind him. Ulrika had better get her sewing kit out. Dave again, half a minute remaining. Tries the same scoring route as before, but Sarah supplies the human roadblock. Rhino making Mark's life a misery at the moment. Great achievement when you recall Mark scored 13 against eight last time out. Mark with a fast footwork, he evades the Rhino's charge and plants a two-pointer. Dave with it all to do now. Oh, captured by Saracen, force fed a face full of mat. Diving tackle from Rhino. Mark Polax by sheer tonnage. Powerball is no time for cruising if they want to escape a bruising. And that hooter brings the curtain down on the Powerball pitch. Good hard work from both contenders. Mark's partner, Frankie, seems pleased. Mark's opener was a classic piece of Powerball play. Ducks Rhino's tackle, drops home the points through the back door. With one event gone, Mark's on four, Dave's on two. Both boys well held by the Glads. <laughs> to the wall, it's Jane. She's going to be pursued by Siren. Also contemplating the wall, it's Andrea. And she's going to be followed by Lightning. Woo, I was here at the beginning and I'm here at the end. I'm going to miss you all. I think we'll miss her too, won't we? Two, one. Jane in pink. Andrea in yellow both scored 10 in their last climbs. And the whistle barely audible above the support for Jane. Siren chasing her, lightning up against Andrea. The sports had its fair share of wear and tear over the past eight years, but it will certainly hold up for this epic battle. 
The contender's way above the glass. It's going to be a close call for the 10 points. First to the top prize, they're neck and neck at the summit. Andrea tops it first. Oh, it's Jane who's stolen it. Andrea's sister, Lisa, not so chuffed. Both girls left the glads for dead. Although Andrea got a leg over first, it was Jane who got both her legs over and stole it. Jane's boyfriend, Ben, brother Andy and mum, Jenny, making no attempt to disguise their delight as Jane extends her lead by six points. Shot. So, moving on into our next event. And getting ready to swing is Mark. Contenders ready! Ready to ready! Three, two, one! It's that final twin fang. Mark, like Captain Scarlet, up and at him. Courage and pluck takes a red from the cylinder, baskets his three pointer. Dave with a free swing, it won't be saddened by those blues. Mark drops in with a blue and a yellow. 6-0 to Mark at the moment, gears up for another raid. Dave home. Mark with high hopes, rewards himself with a red. Dave again, clear, free swing, no points to show for it. Mark again, scrumps another red and beats his score from last time. Dave with less luck at the cylinder, back to the launch pad. The capacity crowd shout easy, but it only looks that way from the stands. Dave for another free swing. Oh, takes a two-point blue for his trouble. Mark again, it's the heights. Dave doubles his score to four. Mark with another red. 15 fabulous points. Dave's sisters Christine and Bridget demanding more effort, but the time's up. Mark was bounced up to a first-class performance, grabbing a blue and a yellow in one leap. David, he scored four points. Scores ever recorded 15 points. After two events, Mark with a massive lead 19 points to six. But well, what a great event! I know you're not going to go away. Join us here after the break on Gladiators. Champion final, where we're just about to kick off with our next event. And first up to run the gauntlet, it's Jane. And tonight, she faces Rio. Rebel. Falcon. Vogue. And Siren. She's great. She's great. The James Smith Coral Society in full voice. Over to John Anderson. Three, two, one. Jane's last walk on the wild side netted her ten points for reaching the end of the line. Rio dispensed with Rebel is next. Can Falcon impede her progress? Guess not. Vogue's blocking with a pad. Not for long. Sirens the backstop. Gets her pin, but Jane's out and over. Ten points for running the gauntlet in double quick time. to finish, you can't beat that. Well, you know how important the points are in this competition, and you picked up ten points, you must be so delighted. Yeah, I am, definitely. You need all the points you get. That was so quick. Can we just... What was the time, Andy? 15 seconds. 15 seconds! That's amazing. Let's aim for Jay Smith. Well done! <laughs> Next up to face the Dream Team, it's Andrea! There's a man with a giant pink head. That seems so natural in a crowd at Gladiators. 
Andrea scooped 10 points in her last gauntlet excursion. Rio hoping to prevent a repeat performance. A point for every sector completed. Into Rebel. This is really tough stuff. She'd do better telling the hunchback of Notre Dame to sit up straight. Struggling to escape the Rebel encampment. Next in line will be Falcon if she ever gets through. Pops a roughhouse time from that ramrod into the Vogue sector. Time running down. Can she make the siren wail? No. Siren holding her. It will just be the four points for Andrea. Siren celebrates. Andrea just about intact. Her sister Lisa desperately disappointed. So is her nephew Eben. Well, Andrea, unfortunately, because Jane got such an easy time, I'm afraid the gladiators were out for a little bit of revenge there. I was thinking that as I stood lining up. There's still a lot of games to go, though. Absolutely. You went through four stations, you picked up four points. Let's hear it for Andrea. Well done. Despite that brave effort from Andrea, Jane extends her lead still further, 26 to 14. Now we move over into the men's event. And first up to run the gauntlet, it's Mark. And tonight, he's facing Ryan. Another 10-point gauntletier. Rhino putting up a better defensive barrier this time round. The push comes to shove, the Rhino usually wins. Mark up the wall and down again into the Wolf's Lair. His helmet's off and the clock's automatically stopped for safety reasons. Mark wants to continue, but the ref might want to chastise that. He's definitely got the ump, and Frankie unusually quiet. I'll call the shots, I'll control the game. If you put your hands like that on a gladiator again, you're out. You understand? remaining three two one so mark and wolf clash again mark barges past the wolf man cobra tries to flag him down but mark's not stopping ace with the pads can't clamp the leg hunter is the back marker fells his man the clock ticking down it's the big push for home can he cross that line ten points with three seconds to spare jubilation in the everett seats well i thought it was all gonna end there after your conflict with wolf i actually I happen to think you were in the right there, but uh, yeah. that's the referee's decision at the end of the day. I'm so sorry about Wolf. It was a mistake. It's just that my You're happy. I saw your helmet come off and you wanted to stop and Wolf didn't know your helmet had come off. No. But the brilliant news is that despite all that, you made it and you picked up ten points. Let's hear it for Mark. Looks like Wolf has been in the wars. Yeah. Hit me straight in the face with his arm, baby. That's what it came up. He's coming in. And there's a bit of claret coming out of Ace's nose. See, they're only human. Mark just squeezed past Wolf, who smashed his nose against Mark's arm and then the wall. After Cobra, Ace steamed in and received a serious case of facial realignment. Next up against the mean machine, it's Dave. Over to John Ash. Dave's not ventured into the gauntlet this season, but has no illusions as to what he can expect. Tries to heave the rhino out of the way and making a great job of it. Wolf next with the pads. Dave driving onwards. Cobra with the ramrod. Next, it's the ace. Dave manhandles those pads out of his face. Hunter's the backstop. Ace wants more of the action. Rebuked by the ref. Hunter struggling to get a purchase. Dave low, but he's up for the points. Ten big ones for Dave Walter. His sisters celebrate. That was very, very tough indeed. We saw them stop Mark once in a while, but uh, e at each one you almost had a problem. Uh, yeah, all of them problem. Um, bit of trouble with Hunter at the end, quite a lot in fact. <laughs> so I was lucky to get through there. Well, don't take it personally, but you did get through and you picked up ten points. Well done, Dave. Sister Bridget and niece Elizabeth know he needed that tenor to stay in touch. After three events, Mark moves to 29, Dave to 16. <laughs> swing is Jane! And she's going to be up against Siren! The legendary Siren beckoned the sailors onto the rocks. Our gladiator Siren just dashes contenders to the deck. Go, Jane! Over to 
John Anderson. Three, two, one. Siren starts out knowing that Jane's ring record could be better. In fact, it couldn't be worse because she's never scored on Hang Tough. Can she break her duck tonight or will the match break her fall? Lining up for the meet in the middle. Jane not evading the situation. Siren can't get a grip, needs to swing closer. Jane wild and one-handed into the clash. Oh, Siren's got her. She's out of there. Textbook takedown. Jane's mom and dad, Jenny and Julian, glad to see the back of that. Jane swings straight into trouble, throws in the towel and throws herself to the floor. And the second of our female contenders is Andrea! And she's swinging against Vulcan! Vulcan with an enviable record on Hang Tough and an equally enviable set of stats, 170 tall and 70 kilos, all of which means that she's 5 centimetres taller than Andrea and 12 kilos heavier. Falcon's done her homework, she'll know that Andrea, the slayer from Cornwall, scored 10 last time out, reaching the Rebels platform, so she's got to keep her finger on the pulse and her hands on the rings. Falcon, though, with one of the coolest and most calculating brains in the gladiator camp. When everyone's sinking, Falcon is thinking. Andrea's on a red ring at the timeout, Hooters, she'll clock up five. Just to Lisa with a bit of backseat driving there, Falcon realising that Andrea's going to be a particularly awkward customer. Can't snap shut the trap, Andrea escapes. Swings back again and Andrea somehow keeps out of harm's way twice in a row. 20 seconds to go, Falcon with her back to the proceedings and can't restart her swing. Andrea looking to seize the moment and a red ring. Bypasses Falcon. Looks to me like she's on for the five points. Falcon too far off to make a telling strike. Good cat and mouse tactics by Andrea. Falcon with a last-ditch attempt, but drops the whole idea. Oh, and herself! Well, it wasn't to be for Falcon. Even when she locked on, she quickly slipped off. A much-needed five points for Andrea. Andrea, that was absolutely fantastic. I think you knew what you were going to do before you started. I knew what I was going to do, but so did Falcon, so I had to change my plan pretty quick and go backwards. But I only just had one hand on the red, and I was lucky to get the five. Well, one hand on the red, you're right. You got yourself five points! Well done! Great result for Andrea, tightens the score up a touch. After four events, it's Jane 26, Andrea 19. And straight into our men's event. And first up is Mark! And he's swinging against the big man, Wolf! What big teeth you've got, Wolf. And what hairy supporters. This then, the Wolf's farewell performance and the crowd full of anticipation, or something. Over to John Anderson. Three, two, one! So, for the final time, the Wolf swings out. He's had his ups and downs on the rings. Sometimes he stayed up and other times, yes, he's gone down. He'll be looking to go out on a high tonight. He'll also remember Mark scored 10 against him last time out on Hang Tough. Mark wings a left to keep him at bay. Wolf effecting countermeasures. Smart pass, but Wolf will get him on the back swing. Snap shut the door. This is going to be a tussle. Wolf grinning and tickling. Goes for the full bodyweight treatment. Mark's got a lot of hanging tough to do. Frankie giving it plenty. That capture by the Wiley Wolf made a flash of brilliance. Mark refuses to let go. Harlan can't believe his dad's still holding on. 15 seconds. Mark one ringed. He's a downer. Great work from the Wolf. Impressive resistance by Mark. Is that really the last of the Wolf Man? I don't think so. He's finishing in exactly the same way as he started eight years ago. In trouble with the ref. A familiar scene, this, Glad fans. Over here. Oh, Wolf's thrown his hat, and the ref's having a pop at Wolf. Mark, great strength, absolutely amazing strength. Did you think you could hang on? I think you're about 20 seconds before the buzzer for your five points. 
Well, I thought that when blokes got old, they'd start to lose weight, but in his case, he's put it on, so I just couldn't hold him any longer. <laughs> Johnny. Yes, Wolf. What amazes me, I tried tickling him, but it didn't work. I could have sworn he was ticklish. I don't think tickling is in the rules, is it, John? I don't know. Shall we find out? Yeah, I think so. Oh, no. Wolfman, please. What? Just put that somewhere. Steady Fash. Hello, what's occurring here? Fash looks like he's getting ready to run. John Anderson steaming in too, and Wolf is getting mullered. Extraordinary scenes. John Anderson and Fash taking out eight years of frustration on Wolfman. Timekeeper Andrew Morgate sorting out the fracas, saving Wolf from further punishment. <laughs> The crowd rising to him, and the old fellow's signature tune and lap of honour. Well, the wolf's lost none of his appeal over the years, just a chunk of his hair. And into the last of our male contenders, and it's David! And he's up against the mighty Asara Sun! What are we going to do with our Saturday nights that there's no more gladiators? I know. We'll go down the gym. I'll see you there. And you won't be able to miss him because he's a metre 91 tall and weighs in at 111 kilos. That all means he's five centimetres taller than Dave and 18 kilos heavier. Saracen swings out for the last time, and since the series began eight years ago, he's maintained a 100% record in this event. Last time he faced Dave Walter, Saracen won it in style. Dave, one of the most tactically minded contenders we've ever had on Gladiators. Can he get the measure of the Saracen this time? Saracen primes the trap out of range. Dave trying not to signal his next move. At the moment, it's working. Sarah well positioned to mark his platform and Dave not yet in the scoring zone. Sarah confining Dave to his own half at the moment. Dave needs to be on a red ring by the timeout to score five. Less than 20 seconds for Dave to figure out a plan. Sarah moving deep into Dave's half of the grid. Is he being suckered in? Fast handwork from Dave. Eludes the Saracen and Sarah's in trouble. One rings and out of swing, but Dave won't make it to the red rings in time. There goes the hooter. No points. The Saracen record remains intact. Dave's sister Christine applauds the effort. David, absolutely great display. What was going through your mind? Staying out of Saracen's reach yet oh, again. Well, you certainly did that, but you weren't getting into the scoring zone, David. Every, every, every move I made, Saracen there was to counter it, so there was nothing I could do. I had my little break, and then time was running out. I just couldn't make it in time. Well, you gave us all a treat. We like to watch it anyway. But unfortunately, David, no score! <laughs> Saracen, the mighty Saracen. I've got to ask you, was there ever a point where you thought he might go by you? Never. Never. So, <laughs> eight years of hand tough, unbeaten, it was never going to happen today, especially on this day, the last day of Gladiators. I remain positive. I did my job. There was no way he was going to score tonight. The mighty Saracen! After four events, Mark remains on 29, Dave on 16. has been one long buzz. I've had a truly amazing experience. Thank you for your support and see you around. Caught it. One final glimpse of perfection. Rio stands a metre 87 tall, weighs 79 kilos. As a result, Jane is 12 centimetres shorter and 15 kilos lighter. Jane 
Smith psyching herself up for the barrage to come. The lull before the storm. Rio first to unload. Knows that Jane can take plenty of stick. Jane grabbed ten points off Rebel last time, but this a real pillar to post pasting. Rio swinging, and Jane's head is ringing, but she comes back for more. Rio really making the foam fly. Jane in trouble, big time. The cup as well, though. This is a proper Rio Grande performance. Jane takes a licking, but keeps on sticking. Oh, but Rio in trouble. Just recovers. Sticky moment for Rio on her farewell performance, but a glorious effort by Jane Smith to secure five points in the duel. The crowd appreciating every blow of that event. In the space of a few seconds, Rio overcooked it, almost handed it to Jane on a plate, then nearly won it with that right-hander. Well, Jane, I have to say, I don't think we've seen anything quite like it here on Gladiators. I mean, first of all, the size of Rio, and then the strength and the blows with which she was hitting you with was just absolutely... I mean, tell us how it felt. Are you still there? <laughs> I'm still in one piece, yeah. Spinning around, I was all over the shop. I know! A lovely little pirouette, and you managed to regain your balance again. I've been a ballet dancer. <laughs> well, you could probably make it now. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Well, listen, the most important thing is that you needed points. Well, everybody needs points as we're going into the Eliminator, and you picked up five, so you must be very pleased with that. Yeah. Let's hear it for Jane. <laughs> Next up on Jewel, it's Andrea. Andrea Wari scored 10 against Fox last time she was dueling on the Pugil platform and don't think Rebel doesn't know it. Rebel gets to work, double-ended attack. Andrea trying to fend her off. Rebel's had a few disappointments on duel, but usually as a result of her own impetuous style rather than being knocked from the platform. Rebel letting Andrea get back into this. Less than 15 seconds to go. Rebel in a spot of bother. She'll need to dig herself out of that. Five points if Andrea can hang on in there. Rebel adjusting her workload, putting in some huge roundhouses. But she can't shift this Cornish power kite trainer. Great result for Andrea. And then Elsie thrilled. Well, Rebel threw all her best moves at Andrea, and Andrea didn't even wince. At the end of five events, Jane moves up to 31, Andrea to 24. We now move into the men's event, and first up on duel, it's Mark. And he's facing Hunter. Well, it's the last time we'll review these magnificent measurements. The Huntsman is 190 centimetres tall and 103 kilos hefty, which means Mark is 4 centimetres shorter and 14 kilos lighter. Mark with a good lead over Dave so far. A win against Hunter will consolidate that position. But the Hunter's farewell performance will be impressive, sharp and to the point. Hunter gets down to work and Mark gets down to the crash mat. The big man says goodbye and makes it look so easy. But Frankie hoped for better things from Mark. He started with all good intentions, scoring some early hits, but got nudged away with a couple of lefts. Bye. Well, I guess this was your last duel and you had nothing to lose but your job. <laughs> Well, exactly. It's always nice to go out with a good game, and uh, obviously, Jules a great game to finish on. So, uh, very pleased with the win. Well, Mark, I didn't think you stood much of a chance because he was there with a the blow right on the whistle. Yeah, he's, a, he's always been the best at this game. Him and Rhino, you know, you don't stand much of a chance out there. My main objective was just to stay up there, pick up five points, but best man won on the night. Hey, listen, you've still got the eliminated to go. It's not over yet. Let's hear from Mark and Hunter. <laughs> Jewel, it's Dave. And he's facing Saracen. Over to John Anderson. Contendo Rene! Anito Rene! On go! If Dave is hoping to pay Saracen back for that hang-tough defeat, he's got 30 seconds in which to do it. 
Let's get ready to rumble for the final time. It's hammer time. The Saracen begins his swan song event and he's on the receiving end of some serious punishment. Dave treating one of the original glads from the first season with scant respect. Sarah having to work hard to get a look in. Dave needs 10 points to reduce Mark's lead going into the Eliminator. Dave mixing it and matching it. Sarah's onslaught being soaked up. Dave knocking them back. Can he hang on for the draw and the five points? Sarah keen to finish his career in style. Oh, Sarah's gone! For my money, that's ten points to Dave. Dave's family aren't so sure, but this proves it. Within the final five seconds, Saracen was beginning to put an end to it, but overbalanced into Dave, and it was goodnight Vienna, a battle worthy of this final duel. Which means after five events, Mark remains on 29, but Dave moves up to 26. It's been called the mother of all assault courses. It is, of course, the Eliminator. This is probably your last chance of ever seeing it. Can you afford to miss it? I think not. Join us after the break here on Gladiators. Eliminators. Now, in the women's event, Andreas on 24 points, James on 31 points. That's a seven point difference, giving Jane a three and a half second head start. Jane, you will go on my first whistle. Andrea, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. Sheffield's Jane Smith sets out to become Supreme Gladiator Champion. Andrea Worry from Cornwall has the same ambition. Jane's Auntie Jean feeling the strain already. Flying leap net from Andrea, pulling back some time. All but faltering at the top. Jane to the rope as Andrea up and overs the net. Jane safely up to the ladder. Fast handiwork. Andrea on the rope. The tension too much for Lisa. Jane smoothly from the trapeze to the giant killing scramble net. Andrea will need a clean swing. Gets it. 23-year-old Jane nears the top as Andrea begins her long haul upwards. Jane to the gantry. Andrea crabbing right to save time. Jane's dad grateful to see her safely on that zip line and en route for the splashdown. Final approach, good landing. A last ever view of the arena for Andrea down the line for impact. Lisa knows she's still in with a shout. Jane can't afford a mistake. Second seesaw, family can taste victory now. Steadies herself for the travelator and the Supreme Champion's title. She's there, yes, she's up. Jane Smith from Sheffield, the best of the best. True Sheffield still. The family celebrate their champion. Andrea Worry teams the Travelator one last time. What a great champion in her own right. Domestic champion, Springbok champ, and a runner-up tonight. Jane! Jane Smith! It didn't matter how fast that Travelator was going to be. You were going to get up there. You have been an absolutely amazing champion of champions here on Gladiators. How do you feel? Absolutely fantastic. I'm speechless. You know, I won it last year. Fantastic feeling to do it all again. It just doesn't sink in, I can't believe. Well, you're not just a champion of Gladiators, as I said. You're, you're a champion of all the champions that we've had here. You've been outstanding throughout. You've kept your spirit and humour, and you've always been smiling. I have a trophy for you here. You Gladiator Supreme <laughs> Champion. And more importantly, I have a cheque for £8,000 in here. Ladies and gentlemen, the champion of champions, the supreme champion of Gladiators, Jane Smith. Well, Andrea, that's unlucky. You don't go away empty-handed. You've still got your beautiful trophy. I think, looking back, you lost it a little bit also on one of the first cargo nets where I thought you caught your heel. I put my foot straight through the net, going up and then going down, I got my foot caught and fell off backwards, so uh, I lost quite a bit there, but she didn't make one mistake, so I couldn't take advantage of it. So, well done, Jane. Go and say thank you to all your friends and your family. Well done, Andrea!
Andrea's disappointed dad, John. What emotions for him. And what emotions for the Victoria Smith family. Jane's boyfriend, Ben. Brother Andy and mum and dad, Jenny and Julian. Meanwhile, Andrea's dad provides a consoling shoulder. I see this not as a wake, but as a celebration of a fantastic production and a fantastic group of people coming together, producing a fantastic programme. And it's been an honour and a pleasure to be part of it. Cheers to Gladiators. Cheers, Uli. Couldn't have put it better myself. Meanwhile, in the men's contest, a three-point lead means a one-and-a-half-second advantage for Mark in the last-ever Eliminator. Mark, you will go on my first whistle. Dave, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one! Mark Everett's away, followed by Dave Walter. So this is the final one, Glad fans. And already Dave snatched the lead. Mark failed to clear a beam and paid the price. Dave's sister Bridget and Mum Molly behind him on the net, throwing themselves down the other side. Mark leads as Dave gets in a tangle. Rope to the handbike stage. Mark hits the front again. Can Dave pull it back with pedal power? Frankie in full voice. Mark will touch down first. Dave losing momentum. Mark to the trapeze. Neat changeover. Dave pulling it back again. The muscle-tearing, hand-burning climb to the gantry. Dave's sister Rachel and niece Charlotte know he can do it. Mark will hit the top first. Dave's feet letting him down again. The spring to the zip and the fastest part of the course. Mark to the crash mat and Dave needs a flying exit here. And gets one. Injured Piers Bryant, whom Dave replaced, urging him on. Mark on the beam. Dave fighting for his balance. Second seesaw for Mark. It's pretty well neck and neck. Frankie screaming. She knows it's Mark's travelator. He's going. He's gone. Oh, he's bloated. I don't believe it. Mark's gone. And Dave powers through. Frankie's collapsed in apoplexy. Dave Walters is the men's gladiator champion supreme. And there's chaos in the Walters camp. And for Mark, the lonely sprint up the rolling hill and the knowledge he was inches from victory. He dug deep. He went to the courage bank. But the cupboard was bare. Mark Everett from Boston, Lincolnshire, completes the course. David, David, absolutely fantastic. David, take that medal out. You deserve that. Champion of champions, and take it out as well. A check for eight thousand pounds. Talk us through it all, David. You've got to step by step. Uh, first of all, join you at the over under hurdles. Next up was a travelator. Very hard, I tell you. That guy is so fast, I knew I had to pull something out of the hat. I, I saw my chance, I just had to go for it. Unfortunately for Mark, it paid off, but he was there all the way. What a great final, absolutely fantastic. And here's your trophy, well done. And what are you going to do with that money? Um, I hope Piers is watching. Oh, I'm sure he is. Because I know Piers has hurt his shoulder. He's going to be out of work for a long time. So I hope he's going to accept £2,000 from me. Great sport, great donation. I know all the Piers supporters and all the well-wishers have all been following you all the way along. Thanks a lot, everybody. Thanks for all the supporters. You've been great. A lot of you came up. I phoned you last night. You've come up here for tonight and you've done great. David, go and thank them. Well done, champion. It's my duty to give you this heavy marble piece. I can't imagine how disappointed you must be. Yeah, that was the ultimate challenge. I mean, I knew Dave was a good lad. He doesn't make mistakes. I did my best on the night, but the uh, travelator, it just had me. You were so keen, you knew you were slightly ahead and you just thought you'd go for it. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I think what I did, I just grabbed for the top. Like you say, a bit too keen, but not to worry. I'd like to thank all the gladiators. I've really enjoyed this. I mean, I love all of them, and I hope they love me too. My family, my training partners, Harlem, Shay, Frankie, thanks for all their support. All of Boston, thank you! And thank you, Mark Everett. It's been great to have you on the show, and the very best of luck in the future for you. Let's hear it, everybody, for Mark Everett. Mark, a gracious gentleman, the runner-up. But here's the supreme champion of gladiators, Dave Walter. As I hand you back to John and Ollie for the last time, it's goodbye from me. 
Well, what we've seen tonight, Ollie, it makes you very sad it's the last series, because really, this is the ultimate challenge. It certainly is, and if you haven't guessed it by now, it really is the last series of Gladiators. And who'd have thought, eight years ago, when we first started this show, that it would go on for so long, bring us so much joy, laughter, blood, sweat and tears. We've met some fantastic people here on Gladiators. We've seen dreams and, and hopes realized and shattered. It's been a fantastic journey. We're going to leave you with some of those memories. And for the first time on Gladiators here, it's not good night, it's farewell. Hooga! Wolf, give me a high five. I get no For safety reasons, do not attempt to recreate any of the events you have seen on Gladiators. so much with this show. Oh God. Oh, Marriage, so divorce, <laughs> children. <laughs> mm. Here we go. This is the end. Eight years I've been coming to this arena. Eight years I've been trying my best. And now it's all over. Well, I've enjoyed it. It's been a great time. And I'd like to say goodbye to all my fans.